Episode 31, Fish and Chips. Hello there. Today we're going to make something traditionally. This would be served with some malt vinegar. I just don't like malt vinegar. So instead, I'm going to make a tartar sauce from scratch. For the tartar sauce, combine 1 cup of mayo, 3 tablespoons of chopped capers, 10 tablespoons of chopped cornichons. I can't not say it like that. 2 tablespoons of chopped parsley, 1 half lemon, juice, and a splash of hot sauce. Today's sauce... Cholula, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Mix it up, throw it in the fridge for at least an hour. I made it the day before for extra goodness. Time to make some chips. Four large roasted potatoes, and you want to give them a thick cut, or not really. It's up to you, it's your potato. Just cut them even so they cook at the same amount of time. Carefully add to the hot oil. Today I used a mix of vegetable oil and avocado oil to bring up the smoking point. This avocado is much higher. And then we're just going to pre-cook the fries four to five minutes per batch. Take them out, let them rest on a wire rack or paper towels. Let's make batter number one. One cup of flour, cayenne pepper, white pepper, paprika, garlic powder, celery salt, sea salt, black pepper. Mix, mix. And now the main ingredient. Perhaps blue ribbon. Let's just make sure that... Yep, 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 checks out. So we need a cup and a third of this. Now add one beaten egg. And then add the PBR. Whisk until combined. Now it's fish time. We're drying them on top of some paper towels. And we're using cod from ButcherBox. Hashtag not spawn. So pat them dry, salt and pepper, and when you're ready, toss them in the batter. Carefully place them in the oil. Make sure the oil is hot to ensure crisp coating, not soggy. No one likes a sog. Fry for three to five minutes until golden brown. Repeat for the rest of the fishes. But first, let's make batter number two. All the same dry ingredients, except this time, we're swapping out that PBR for some Guinness. Now let's just make sure it's good. Oh, yep, yeah, that checks out too. Same amount as before, one and one third cup, one egg, whisk, combine. Now let's get all those fries going and remove what's golden brown. In about five minutes. Let's get our first plate out. So, tartar sauce, lemons, handful of chips or fries if you want to be that person. Two of our golden fried Pabst Blue Ribbon fillets. And damn, this came out really good. Fries are perfectly fluffy inside, crisp outside. The fish is crispy outside, flaky on the inside. And the tartar sauce is delish. Batter number two time. Drop that fish in the Guinness batter, fry till golden, and then fry up the rest of the fries. Golden brown perfection. Let's plate up those crispy Guinness boys. Tartar sauce, handful of chips or fries, and our crispy hot Guinness fillets. Again, both batches came out great. I think the Guinness ones gave the batter a little extra flavor and crispiness. Both amazing. 100% recommend. Yes. Which one will you choose? Crispy PBR boys or crispy Guinness boys? You decide. Before we end it, I just want to say... When I tweeted this and tagged PBR on Twitter, they immediately responded with this. Give me some of your tots. I'm guessing from Napoleon Dynamite because those are clearly crispy outside, fluffy inside chips. But do you, sis. Keep quoting bad movies from 2004. What's next? Hungry Fella from Ace Ventura? Or a classic Mom the Meatloaf from Wedding Crashers? Why not throw some board in that too? Shit. As I say this, I realize I know someone that does exactly this unironically, and I really wonder if Joey runs the PBR Twitter. Hey Joey. Yep, that's a joke for just me, and I don't care. But either way, I responded with a super high energy yes, immediately ending the transaction and any further interaction with this account forever. Well, that's the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all real soon. Support the channel, why don't you? That was weird. Was that weird? Tell me if that was weird. Support the channel, I appreciate you. Thank you.